Today we're diving into a fascinating and mind-bending concept, the ekpyrotic theory. This theory suggests that our universe was created from a collision between two brains. But what exactly does that mean? Let's explore this intriguing idea together. To understand the ekpyrotic theory, we first need to grasp the basics of string theory. String theory proposes that everything in the universe is made up of tiny, vibrating strings. These strings can exist in multiple dimensions, not just the three spatial dimensions we experience. In string theory, brains are multidimensional objects. Think of them as membranes, but on a cosmic scale. Our universe could be one such brain, existing in a higher dimensional space. According to the ekpyrotic theory, there are other brains parallel to ours in this higher dimensional space. Now imagine these brains moving and interacting. The ekpyrotic theory posits that the Big Bang, the event that created our universe, was actually the result of a collision between two brains. When these brains collided, they released an enormous amount of energy, creating the hot, dense state that eventually expanded into our universe. This collision caused a tremendous burst of energy and heat, similar to what we think of as the Big Bang. However, instead of originating from a single point, this energy came from the interaction of these two vast, multidimensional surfaces. This concept challenges the traditional Big Bang model, which suggests the universe started from an infinitely small singularity. The ekpyrotic theory also offers solutions to some of the problems that the standard Big Bang theory faces. For example, it provides a possible explanation for the uniformity of the cosmic microwave background radiation and the flatness problem, which are difficult to explain with the traditional Big Bang model alone. Moreover, the ekpyrotic theory introduces a cyclic model of the universe. According to this model, the universe undergoes endless cycles of expansion, cooling, and contraction, culminating in collisions between brains that reset the process. This means our universe could be one of many that have existed over time. One of the most fascinating aspects of this theory is how it links to other areas of physics, such as quantum mechanics and general relativity. By merging concepts from these fields, the ekpyrotic theory provides a more comprehensive understanding of the universe's origins and its ultimate fate. Of course, the ekpyrotic theory is still just that, a theory. It's a hypothesis that requires more evidence and testing. Scientists are continually looking for ways to validate or refute this idea through observations and experiments, particularly in the fields of cosmology and particle physics. One of the key challenges is finding empirical evidence that directly supports the existence of brains and their interactions. Future advancements in technology and observational techniques may provide the data needed to confirm or disprove the ekpyrotic theory. Despite the challenges, the ekpyrotic theory represents an exciting frontier in our understanding of the universe. It pushes the boundaries of our knowledge and invites us to think about the cosmos in new and imaginative ways. If you found this topic as fascinating as we do, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the wonders of the universe.